Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to do, we're going to do daily energy. Um, I want to tell you, I just did Cancer Raw Love, and it is the almost the same reading as Aquarius, okay? Um, so, FYI, huge mirroring effect going on there, ladies and gents. Might want to check that out. It said it was going to take about an hour and a half to upload. Um, it was very complex read, but at the same time, I feel like I didn't even use that much energy. It was it was such a simple, straightforward read, but it was it was pretty powerful read, I guess. Okay, so um, remember that while you're watching. All right, um, it was only like a twelve minute read. So, Cancerians and Aquas are are mirroring. So basically, which that means, a majority of you that are in the situation where you've been following for a while now and you know it's just all right, you're mirroring. All right, you're doing the whole mirroring effect right now. Um, but there was a lot of conflict. But to me, that that spoke a competition that I, I really should have touched base on. So I'm going to briefly touch base on that. Um, let's see if it wants to actually touch base on. Okay. Um, what the divine wants me to touch base on rather than what I feel I should touch base on when it comes to the mirroring effect because it was important for me to mention, okay? I also want to mention to you guys the Six of Fire has been coming out a lot and it, it talks about a small victory and I've been reading it as ego and it, I've been reading it as the Three of Hearts is more ego than the, the Six of Fire. So with the Raw Loves this week, the Six of Fire came out a lot so I'm in incredibly sorry for the confusion that I caused on some of you because it, it does talk about victory versus ego when I was imaging and swapping those cards so there, there's something going on there too with with ego and, and victory okay it, there's it's just there's something there um but I, I do need to touch base on the conflict because it's not it's not conflict it, it what's happening is, is competition whomever you're mirroring you guys are competitive and it's wrong because you guys should be in the race together. Okay, I almost said rat race, but you should be in the race together versus against each other. And it's, it's the two of you playing games, and I don't even think you realize it. And if you have realized it, um, it is completely time to stop the bullshit and the BS because it's, it's divine. And things will not come together like you think they will if there's that competitiveness between the two of you. This is a very powerful divine connection, and... You can't play no more, right? So it's almost like surrender and pursue or surrender and walk away. So what is it you want to talk about today? <clears throat> That's too many. That's who out. The toy air. So it, it's making a decision, okay? Um, and it's, it's going to come in and it could be that whole surrender and pursue or surrender and, and walk away, all right? And it, it justice has been coming out a lot too. And to me, it's, it's really about surrender, surrendering to the karma, surrendering to your situation no matter how you do, no matter what you do with it and you have patience, okay? So have patience on yourself with whatever is going to come into fruition because there's, there's most definitely something here. Um, nothing popped out, but it sounded like it, okay? So, when you're making this decision, okay, because I, I don't know if you're going to feel like you're, it's competitive, you're going to need to have strength. I don't know, there was definitely some, some betrayal at some point with the ton of air coming out, but it's, it's being lifted, okay, but definitely feeling a betrayal when it comes to a certain situation that's going to come into fruition. But basically what this is telling me is that have patience on yourself when you make this decision because you, you, you're you about to make an important decision, okay? So I'm going to get an overall message for you guys, overall guidance card when it comes to this. And I just saw the Ace of Swords, which was, which was huge, okay? Because that talks about a challenging beginning, but it, it if you're just patient with yourself and others, whatever the situation may be, it's going to be easier for you to figure out, figure out, okay? So daily energy, daily energy. All right, so you got the nine of water. All right, so it's it's a wish coming true. Concerns will slowly fade away, all right? And it's a new love life, okay? So just be patient with you or this other person. Just be patient with this situation. But I, I, I definitely would not wait too long 
okay, um, too, too long when it comes to this, this decision. And, and yeah, it's complicated. But from whomever group, whom, whatever group this is for, you would know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? So tell me about the two of air. So it's, it's kind of like, lay the weight down. It's like feathers flying around. I'm seeing feathers flying around. Like, let it... Let it just be light energy versus, you know, competitive energy or I don't know if I can trust energy or, you know, you might have somebody coming in there showing me too, the Knight of Cups. So you might have somebody come in who's a really good charmer and you're just like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay. So yeah, it's the three of one. So you're thinking about your future. You're also, it's the thoughts. You, you, it's just thoughts so be careful with your thoughts because again it's the mirroring effect is, is happening right now and it is strong it is very strong okay and it, it's here to lead you in a solid foundation what happens next okay tell me about patience so to me you know a, a dream is about to come true and and for some of you you guys definitely know it okay we got the sun that also speaks about the clarity you're gonna get okay um go within meditate someone's gonna be in heavy heavy meditation mode before you know it um but you want that clarity you know is is talk to the divine what this is telling me is that this situationship is being led all right it's being led by the divine um so be patient on yourself or somebody else when this decision comes in or needs to be taken care of okay um it's, it's funny, that's at the bottom of the deck with the ego, with the six of fire. See what I'm saying? So it's like with the six of air. Yeah, so it, it, this is what I'm talking about, you know? So it's like, I was reading the six of fire as the ego. So it's basically saying, you know, it, it's a false sense of entrapment. You're putting yourself there, okay? So it's fear-based thoughts. Let let that go, okay? Because it's, it's going to be victorious. So clearly it wanted me to break that down to you guys. Clear as day, okay? So, no more competing against each other. I'm, I'm not playing when I'm telling you. Either, you know, surrender with this justice being here. Surrender and pursue and move forward and work on it. Or surrender and let it go because it's karmic. Okay? But it, it does say a, a new a new love life. Okay? Concerns will, will fade away. Those fear-based decisions... All that after you guys get this message, whatever it's it's based on, which you guys would clearly know your scenario. All right, so, um, you know, I, I feel the trust card. I, I I feel like I don't even need to pull you a card because I feel like it's going to be trust. I can hear it in my head. So let's see if there's another message that they want to give you for the daily read. Okay, so it's it's a special friendship with happiness. Okay, it's that nine that wish coming true you know it, you be happy get on that path all right this this person is here for a reason that's a twinsy card twinsy like partner soulmate it, it's clear as day okay that this is clearly divine so be patient with each other no need to rush nothing you're gonna get that clarity be patient in due time it's you no need to know all the answers right off the rip okay it's just figure out what you're gonna do Surrender and pursue or surrender and call it quits. Okay. But again, remember that you're mirroring. Okay. And it's real important when you're mirroring. I'm going to get one card for mirroring. Best advice for mirroring. You just keep those thoughts positive. Okay. Um, it, it can be easier said than done. Okay. But I'm, I'm just telling you how I feel about the situation. So best advice for the mirroring effect right now. <clears throat> it's like a butterfly effect too okay so the, it's the queen of fire i'm gonna take one of them is be be confident okay um so i'm gonna take both of them so when it comes to mirroring you know stretch your wings and fly don't underestimate yourself accept the creativity the independence that you both carry you know accept what's happening let let inspiration hit you again. <clears throat> and then you have the eight of fire. So it's it's an illusion. You feel trapped. All right. But it's because you're afraid to take action. And trust me, that will come down to both of you. Because when you're mirroring each other, 
especially right now if this is all fear based it, that's why it's not coming together so someone needs to kind of like surrender and either let it go or surrender and pursue I know what category I fall in so it, it's just a matter of how the other one okay so this is what I'm saying it, it's important it, it's fear based let the fear go all right use use the one to get your inspiration your enlightenment okay you have the capability all right be confident be warm be graceful it is it's fear you know especially when you're mirroring somebody ladies and gents it is everything's being triggered your karma is being triggered at the bottom of the deck you got the wheel with the ten of earth the situation suddenly moves forward fortune is on your side which means it would be on both your sides and not to mention that's huge stability all right happy family life financial security making magic all right so it's kind of like this conversation can be very magical or it can be very messy. I'll put it that way. It's it's up to you. All right. So surrender and pursue or surrender and just back off. Okay. It's karmic. It needs to be it needs to be fixed. So if you found yourself in a situation where you realized all of a sudden you it was like a competition, it was a game, and you didn't realize it until now, you know, fix that. Talk to the divine, let them know. You know, um, because it's all you can't be in that same energy. It, it won't. It, it's no good. All right. So again, it, it's on you on how you want to surrender to the situation, and it, it, it's very divine. So it, you're gonna have a chance to talk no matter what. Okay, and, and then make your decision. Make your decision together. It's time for adulting. Adulting 101. All right, and at the bottom of the deck, the, after I pulled those lessons, look at it, it's trust. Okay, it, you gotta, you gotta trust. Yep. <laughs> Kaden added his little two cents. Huh? All right, so that was a big sign because he's he's half out of it, and that's the only thing he responded to. So that's a what? a big 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 message. Okay. Um, hold on, buddy. So, I love you guys. Have a fantastic day. And I'll finish up some of the raw loves after. Okay? I love you guys. Bye.